Welcome to Memory Failure. The topic of our discussion today is hairy cell leukemia. The points that I'm going to cover are as follows. Point number one, hairy cell leukemia is associated with hairy cells. Not too exciting. Everyone knows that hairy cell leukemia is associated with hairy cells. Point number two, hairy cell leukemia is also associated with CD11 positivity. Fact number three. Hairy cell leukemia is associated with trap positivity. Point number four. Hairy cell leukemia is also associated with hepatosplenomegaly. Fact number five, there is an association with bone marrow fibrosis. Fact number six, it's associated with cytopenia. So take a good look, these are the points that I'm going to cover. So now let's begin. Imagine a lymphocyte. It's not a very happy lymphocyte because he is trapped, imprisoned. Imagine these are vertical bars of a prison and this lymphocyte is trapped inside. And imagine that his hair is well kept, neat and tidy. And he's trapped or imprisoned inside the bone marrow and the spleen. Take a good look. Now, since it's not too happy being trapped inside, it's going to try to come out, to break through, to break out. So here it is trying to squeeze its way out of its prison. Now in the process, as it's trying to squeeze its way out, his hair, which was well kept earlier, has become all messed up. And now, finally, it's outside its prison, and it's happy, since it's outside of its imprisonment with all his hair projecting. So, here's the first point. The hairy projections. And imagine the vertical bars when the lymphocyte was trapped inside the bone marrow and the spleen, the vertical bars actually look like 11. So it's associated with CD11 positivity. Now since it's trapped inside the bone marrow, we can say that it is trap positive. It's trapped, it's imprisoned. So here we are, it's TR. AP positive, so it's trap positive. And imagine now that this is not the only lymphocyte which is trapped inside the bone marrow and the spleen. There are lots of others like him imprisoned. Lots of them inside the bone marrow and the spleen. So there is a lot of overcrowding inside the bone marrow and the spleen. So naturally, there's going to be splenomegaly and inside the bone marrow there are lots of these vertical bars which which are imprisoning or which are trapping all these lymphocytes inside 
So these vertical bars, you can imagine them to be fibers. Actually, they are the fibers. And these fibers are the vertical bars, and so you have fibrosis. And since all these lymphocytes are trapped inside the bone marrow, none of them can escape in, into the blood. And since they cannot escape into the blood, you have cytopenia. So I have covered all the points. Take a good look. Mm. And we're done.